Melbourne residents are this morning frustrated with a local council after the approval of a controversial bin tax. Today, Melbourne reporter Isabella Stashkovsky has the details. It's a good morning. Residents think this change is rubbish. <laughs> They certainly do, Sarah. Good morning. They think this is total garbage. Around 200 residents were at the Richmond Town Hall last night in protest. About 60 of those uh, people had registered to speak and they were given about two minutes each. But the councillors decided to vote in favour of this new bin tax. That means that locals in this area, they will be spending an extra $115 every single year. People last night incredibly angry. Uh, well, it's a big disappointment for the residents. It's probably no surprise. I think these councillors, the majority councillors, have consistently not listened to locals. Uh, a majority of the councillors ignored us. We're being punished because of their financial incompetence. It simply isn't good enough. They need to make cuts and live within their means like we all have to. So, Sarah, of course, the question now is what comes next? Well, this local council, the election is occurring next year. Many residents now hoping they can boot those councillors out. That woman said it all. She Thanks, Isa. Well, residents in Melbourne are up in arms this morning after a controversial bin tax was approved by an inner city council overnight. Let's bring in Yarra City Councillor Stephen Jolly in Melbourne, very vocal opponent to this. Stephen, good morning. The residents are simply being ignored by the council. Exactly. It was unbelievable last night. Those hundreds turned up. There was actually an overflow of 100 people at the front. I thought at one stage it was going to be like January the 6th in America. They, were, they wanted to storm the barricades. But um, it was, it was, I've never seen that. anything like it at a town hall meeting in, in Melbourne. No, they were very, better, they were very well behaved, actually. Um, but they were ignored. 5,000 petitions, 60-something people speaking, hundreds in the meeting. And these people were just cold uh, and just said, no, nah, sorry, we're going to... Uh, put our extra spending onto your backs, even though they're struggling, the residents, that is, with inflation and high interest rates. And I think all that's happened is that those councillors have just guaranteed themselves defeat at the next year's council election here in Victoria. Yeah, well, what is going on, Stephen? I mean, the council exists because of the people. They pay the rates and so on. I mean, if they're being ignored, what's the point? How is this even happening? Well, because they, they don't see it like that. They think they're running a business and they're quite happy to spend 288% increase mm. on expenditure, on senior management and executives, buy buildings that nobody needs and just get the residents to pay for it. And uh, I think they got a bit of a shock last night. So they, we lost the battle, but we won the war because everybody who left that meeting last night really now sees that Yarra Council is not for the residents and they're going to do something about it next year, I reckon. Well, they better have long memories, I guess. I mean, Stephen, you're in the council. We're hearing so much about financial mismanagement. Is that seriously the case? We know that they are getting so much revenue from the high-density living in that area. Yeah, it is. It's a river of gold that's coming into Town Hall at Richmond and all the town halls in Melbourne because of the, the, the cranes all around Melbourne. But what they're spending with that, that money on is themselves. They're not spending it on people. They're not spending it on frontline staff. And they're really, really happy just to jack up the rates and jack up charges uh, at, at any time. And uh, it was quite shocking last night to see it done in such a brazen fashion. Mm. There was a garbage truck, uh, Stephen, that just passed you. You might be able to pluck out a few dollar notes from that yeah. uh, for, for some safekeeping, eh? Yeah, <laughs> Thanks. maybe so. Thanks so much for your time, Stephen.